Hey guys, gonna do a really short, quick video on collecting zucchini seeds. It's the time of year where I am. It's probably gonna be the time of year where you are, where some of your zucchini are getting crazy big and you wanna collect seeds to use for next year. So, how are we gonna do that? So what I have here is just some paper toweling and I've labeled zucchini seeds and I should put the date on here, 820. And this is something, um, I don't know if you can see through this that you can see behind it. This is one of those delimajigs that used to hang below a bird feeder. So the bird feeder would be up here, this would hang below it, and then the bird seed would fall onto here so you don't have seeds growing up all over the ground and also it wouldn't stay straight it would waggle on and off so squirrels weren't supposed to be able to get on it didn't re really ever work well but um, I took these and this was what became my first solar dryers before I made the big solar dryer over there so these were what I used first so I like to dry seeds on paper toweling but um, it's also good if air can get underneath them a little bit so that's what those are for. Okay, so I've got uh, several big zucchini here, and I'm just going to show you really quick um, on how I cut one up really easy and save the seeds. So again, use uh, fruit that's um, mature, very mature, past a date when you would want to eat it. Use uh, fruit or vegetable that you really like, looks good to you, you know, use... Use the best of your crop that you can. So I cut the top and the bottom off. Just take a look, make sure it's not molding or anything weird is going on inside. And then I'm gonna cut that in half just to make it somewhat easier to handle. I see there are seeds in there already. I'm gonna just go a long way. You're gonna cut some of the seeds in half if you do that, but you know, that's okay. So what I see here is that these seeds, they go in, goes this way, nope. Nope. like little caverns, see up and down that way. And again, like you do with a cucumber, you can just pull your fingers along here and seeds will pop out. A little different than a pumpkin, although it's all in the same family. So you can see these are nice fat seeds come out really easy. Do it on this side. Oops. Jumper. These come out really easy. The rest of this is um, zucchini meat. You can go ahead and use it, but because it's older, the outside's gotten harder, you might want to feel the outside. And again, another side. Got the seeds in here. Come out. more seeds, pull them out. So basically that's how you do it. And then you take the uh, seeds and put them on your toweling and let them dry. And then once they're very dry, you put them into a paper bag to save for next year. Now remember, you only want to use heirloom seeds, open pollinated. <laughs> My husband just got home, the dogs are going crazy. Open pollinated um, heirloom, and they will get better every single year. So, quick and easy little tutorial on how to save seeds. One zucchini will give you more seeds than you can ever want to use in a year. But remember, you can barter with them, give away plants. That's what I do is I start plants in my greenhouse and then I give away plants. And in return, I get things from my neighbors. They grow things that I don't grow, um, or they make things that I don't make, or I borrow tools, that kind of stuff. But anyway, there you go. That's how you do it. Let me know if you have any questions.